have a, uh, a law by Mesu, right? If it drops dead, we have a Mishnah that says that it's, that there's Me'ila Midr Why? It says, If someone has enjoyment from, benefit from an animal, a chatas, a sin offering, that's a balmum. So there's Me'ila there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's only Me'ila there if, if because it's a balmum, there's only me'ila if he takes. See, there's two types of having benefit. If I use this cup, let's say this cup belonged to Hektish. If I use the cup, I didn't detract from Hektish anything. The cup is still the cup. I could use it again. It, it, Hektish still has the same value. It still has the same value for Hektish. The only thing is, I wasn't allowed to use it because it was Hektish. Then, if the Contents inside were hectish, and I drank it. Now I have actually used what belongs to hectish. I've diminished from hectish. So if there's a, a chatas that has a mum, the only way that you can get me'ila, yeah, that you can violate, if someone's looking to violate me'ila, to commit me'ila, would be not if he uses it, but if he actually diminishes from it. If he cuts a slice off it or something. Not if he puts his package on the animal to carry, but if he cuts a slice off it, he, he makes he, he 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 diminishes the value. Then there's meila. So leimal ad shiyifkin ukshi mesa. But if it dies, then kiven denana kol shumal. When it dies, then you can't redeem the dead carcass because we said we don't redeem it for to give it to the dogs. We said that we only redeem it. To, for, for human consumption. So here, because there's no redemption, so me'ila is any benefit that I get from it. So, one second. I have a dead animal that there's me'ila. I have a dead animal that there's me'ila. And this is a Mishnah. Obviously the me'ila is Durabanan. But what do I need Ula for to tell me that there's me'ila and a dead animal? I have a Mishnah that says it. The Gemara says no. Sal Kedait Chamina could have entered the mind to say that Chatas, that's a sin offering. Hayalul Chapara Kaasya, Bedelen Minei. It's a question if you how to read this. So by the Chatas, I would have said, Bedelen Minei, that people. It's easier if I read it. Loi b'delen minei. I would have said by the chatas. Let's let's read it the way the Gemara says. There's different ways of reading this. All the commentaries are uh, taking out words and adding words. <laughs> <coughs> right. So people would not stay away from it. It's a People might make use of it. So therefore, they had to be a rabbinic decree. But other sacrifices, people wouldn't have, people would. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's going back and forth, and each one says the wrong uh, thing. Oh, maybe it's saying like I, uh, a question. No, but they certainly. No, not. well, what we want to say is that by other sacrifices, we would have thought that there's no need to have meila there. It comes along, Ula, and tells us that there is meila there anyway. Saying by chatas, we understand that there's meila because. People wouldn't have stayed away from it. Maybe we had to make me'ila. But by other sacrifices, people would stay away from it anyway. Then there's no re- reason to have me. It has to be the opposite. It has to be... Yeah, so it's a rhetorical question. That's why they blow. Uh, they certainly want to do it. Of course they want to do it. No, so I need Ula to tell me... Kamash Malantana... Let me read you. Let me read you. Okay. 
So a chatas that has a blemish chatas, the rabbis decreed me'il after it died. Since it was unfit for atonement, even while it was alive, people do not venerate it, and therefore they do not keep away from it. Isn't that interesting? However, with respect to unblemished kachim that died, since they are fit for atonement while alive, and people venerate them and keep away from them, I would have I would say that the rabbis did not decree rabbinic meila for such offerings when dead because people stayed away from it while it was alive because it was unblemished. Therefore, Ula informs us that the rabbis did decree rabbinic meila even for unblemished kachim that have died. So that's what it really that what throws you off here is you think that there's an issue with the chatas versus other kachim. The really what the issue is according to their commentary. Did it have a blemish or did it not have a blemish? Did it just drop dead or did it have a blemish? If it had a blemish, then there was a reason to, to have Ni'ila there. But over here, people stayed away from it anyway. Maybe there's no reason to have to... There's no reason to impose a rabbinic Ni'ila. Kamash Malan, Ula, that there is rabbinic Ni'ila even on other sacrifices. Okay, so wow. we have... Good voice, Claire. Hold me short one. Good name.